Hey, what's going on? It's Sherrick here, and we're back with another episode of Chroma Squad. We're going to get right into this episode, not going to waste a whole lot of time. We're going to get into the messages first about my kids. Dear manager of Mighty Inc., it's from Sue McSue1962 at hotmail.com. I am concerned. I'm a concerned mother writing to you in need of advice. I always watch your show with my kids and they are obsessed with it. They have all your toys and t-shirts and bed sheets. In your episodes, you always seem to know what to do and you never give up. Their father has abandoned us a few months ago and I might need to take a second job to be able to give my kids the comfort that they deserve. I won't have time to watch Chroma Squad episodes with them anymore if I decide to do it though. I want to be there for my kids. What should I do? We can take care of that. Your kids need their mom, not money, and do what's best for them. Um, we have the dosh to spend on it, uh, so we're gonna give her some money. We're just gonna do that and be some nice people. From Sue McSue again, I have no words for what you just did. This is beyond my wildest dreams. For me, you are not just actors, you are true heroes. Watching your show has given us some of the brightest moments in our house. I'll be sure to keep sharing it with my kids every week. Thanks for everything. I don't know if that has any, um... If that um, helps us out in the long run or not, but I, I felt good doing it because I'm just that kind of person that if I had that kind of money to, to give away, I could I would probably do it. Um, so there you have it. There is that. And so I did a little bit of a housekeeping. I'm trying to do my best to bump up the um, to get the armored legs for the Chroma Megazord because that's going to bump up the health and it's also going to bump up the amount that we get back when we repair it for every time that we knock down an enemy. Um, if you guys remember a few episodes ago, uh, I really struggled with uh, with the amount of damage that the Chroma Megazord took and if not for that, um, that audience reserve health that I got, we would have lost that episode. So I, I do want to prep and make that a bit better because there is an episode coming up pretty soon. It's not going to be this one, but it's called Chroma Mechazord Time, and I believe you have a series of battles. So, um, for now, I think we're going to go with, um, with the concrete subject. We're going to go with that one, and let's just jump right in. Here comes a new chap, uh, monster lurking around the city. I like how it kind of, like, blurs into action. Time to put Crow uh, Lord Gaga's plan in action. What a mastermind! I will consume all the gravel human beings leave every day on these sites. And then become the most powerful gravel creature ever made. Probably gonna be the only gravel creature ever made, but whatever. The more I consume, the more I can turn humans into stone. Evil laugh. Really? Mwahaha! Time to eat! This looks like the best starting point for this plan. So much gravel around. Om nom nom. Gotta love some gravel. Liang, how's things? So long we don't see each other. It's a weird silence. Hey, Scott. I've been looking for dinosaur fossils on this construction site. And you? I've been waiting for Chroma Squad to appear. They seem to favor uh, deserts and construction sites. If they show up, I'll be around for some oil painting. Timothy, is this the place where you wanted to record your new horror movie? Yeah, Raphael, and what brings you around? Shredding these streets with my new longboard. I'm mixing all these voices up. That's what I need, a bunch of random people. I'm starting with them. Jeez, why did the devs so me spawn me so far from this NPC? It's very tongue-in-cheek, fourth wall break. I'm almost there. Whew, you are the laziest gravel monster I've ever seen. Turn to stone, both of you. That's rude. What? Wait, no! <sighs> Evil laugh, mwahaha. Enough talking. You're now two stones. In wait, I mean, we're we using, are we, let me, I didn't bring my converter, so I don't know how much that is in pounds. Forget it. Mwahaha, <laughs> evil laugh. Mm. Soon I will turn this entire town to stone. The gravel lord then proceeded with Lord Gaga's maleficent plan. Planned? Sorry. Plan. Cerebro warned Chrome Squad about the threat at the construction site. And our heroes arrived to save the day. 
Pew, 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 pew. Look, there's the creature. You there. I didn't expect people to come to me, but it sure is convenient. Weird creature, what did you do to those people? Turn in the stone. That's what I do, and that's what I'll keep doing as long as I consume gravel. And by the looks of it, you're next. Oh. He, like, floated a little bit. That was a little weird. Ah, my favorite enemies. Really? You're gonna hop over the fence and everything? Man, you couldn't have been hiding in there. <laughs> Alright then. Exclamation points! Maybe if we defeat this creature, we'll be able to save those people in time. That's definitely what we're going to do. Wait in ten turns and defeat the boss monster with a finishing move. Pokey pokey. Well, let's get over here and uh, do some teamwork. Really? Set that up for you specifically, maybe, but cool. Let's see what you can do with some sleep right there. There we go. I have to use that team up a little bit. You get a little flashy there for no reason. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. Mm. Nice dodge. Ooh. Are we chromatized yet? No? Okay, cool. Well, let's... Let's get rid of these two goons, so... Let's start with uh, this one first. Nice. Ooh, yes! Yeah, I forgot about it. It's cleave time. Awesome, awesome. Alright, now I'm gonna have TJ come over here. And then we'll chromatize, because that'll gather everybody over. Lights, camera, chromatize! Very nice. This sword? Thank you both. Nice. Got some polyester. Oops, sorry. Not in range yet, but we're gonna move her over here so then she will be in range. Or not. Ugh. That's it. Nice dodge! Nice dodge! Didn't that time though. Ouch. Double ouch. I'm gonna start with Amy. The base is hurting me. Bring him back up. There we go. Come over here and hit this dude with these daggers. Right in his face, pop, 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 and got some acrylic paint. Very nice. Now we come over here and uh, hit you in the face with an axe. Nice, we got some glass shards. Okay. So now we're just down to those two snipers. Oof. Oof. I'm gonna start with Amy again. I wanna make sure that we keep everybody.
feeling good. So my basic strategy here is I'm going to try and eliminate these guys um, just because they're kind of getting in my own. Uh, they're really kind of picking away at me. But obviously my main um, focus is going to be this guy, so I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to take this turn and do some damage to him just kind of set him up. Jace are kind of tied. Um, I think I will actually use... I think I'm going to do it on, um, on J uh, Jace, because he, I think his defense is lower than Sam's. Okay, so with that, um, I'm going to clear and stun both of them. Hit him with some damage. Jace. Oh, what am I doing on that? Alright, so now I'll finish him off. Might as well. Polyester. Nice. And then I will. You shout courage. That'll heal everyone else up a little bit. And also boost odd damage output. This guy's gonna have to oh come in a little bit. Oh great, more minions. Okay, so I, I wasn't sure if he was gonna do that or not. So now that I know that he's going to do that, I'm just gonna focus all of my energy on the boss. It's just not worth it to try and um, try and take down all these minions. Uh, although they're the wrong kind of minions, if you know what I mean. Actually. Yeah, he moved just out of range of everything, so I think I'm going to do this. I'm just going to bring TJ over here, and then I'm going to join up everybody. That way I can get some of these minions out of my face, starting with this one. I know I just, I literally just said I'm not going to focus on them, but since I can't reach the boss as it stands right now with um, my heavy hitters, I might as well... Uh, get some of them out of my face, like by using this square house kick. Shot. There are two of them right there. And then use the bow. And next turn, I'm probably gonna have to use um, Amy's healing abilities. Nice dodge. And he heals himself a little bit. Who did he add? Jace as well. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to do Circle of Friendship to get everybody kind of back up. Because we're all kind of hurting. Okay, over here. And that puts me in range. I'm attacking this lovely gravel monster. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say, he should be getting pretty close to, um... So since he's pretty close, I'm actually gonna put TJ over here. Because I get the feeling he's going to move away. And then, while I'm got him over here, I'll just lasso this enemy to me. And use the sword and KO him. him. Okay. Yeah, 
had a feeling he was going to... Nice dodge, though. So nice double dodge. Very nice. And now, now that he's... I can finish him, I'm going to bring everybody in. I think... Can we all reach him? No. So uh, I'll have TJ do is come over here and we just join up. Hopefully he doesn't move like that either. There we go. And teamwork. Ah, sorry about that. Attack! From a blast, very nice. And we will have defeated him and did so in the prerequisite ten turns that we were asked to do so. What? It said finish him! Oh, that's rude. Alright, alright, alright. Well, fortunately, we can still do all of what we need to do, so just come over here. Oh no, mmm, she was too far away, I did it wrong. Well, that's a bummer. Well, we got one of them. Uh, my mistake, my mistake, but we still got it. Think you've bested me? Are you prepared to face the biggest pile of gravel ever made? I already forgot the voice that I used for him before. Hey, but they, uh, they have been healed. Wow, thanks a lot, Chroma Squad. Oh, well, just him. Look, they're turning back, they're turning into real people back again. What a weird way to say that sentence. Alright, time to skate. Once again, Chroma Squad saves the day. Yes, it worked. Words cannot describe how happy I am for backing them on Kickstarter. I'm alive! I would've, but I wasn't aware. It worked! We saved all these people! But that huge rocket thing is still an issue we have to take care of. Mecha power activate! Let's do it. The Mecha Zord gets put together, and it's fighting time as we punch this thing straight in the face repeatedly. Oh, and I missed. Alright, time to go on the defensive. Ooh, okay, we're still gonna be taking big damage here, so we're gonna have to be careful. I'm gonna try and focus a little bit to make sure that I don't take oodles and oodles and oodles of damage. We got a perfect there. Still gives a oh, okay, so I'm only gonna hit him maybe once or twice. And I'm going to block. Bump up Ooh! Thanks, that was a lot of damage, man. No oh, bueno. Yikes, man! A lot of damage, no bueno. I'm gonna have to dip into those reserves again, which I do not want to do. There we go. Okay, good, good. Let's bump our off. 
health back up. Okay. This is where we're gonna chase him down. It's gonna come down to the way out. One more, one more, come on. Alright. Play a little conservatively here. Yes! 48 damage, that's what I wanna see. Nice, very nice. Looking a bit more like it's gonna be a fair fight now. Really? A miss at the. Close battle, but I think we've got this one, especially since we can use the finishing maneuver. Very nice. I was worried. I'm not gonna lie. I was definitely worried, but we were able to pull it out. But that's what I was talking about at the beginning of the episode, as I, as I definitely want to create uh, more space so that we don't have to worry so much. And I think with that cardboard box and that wood board, we might have what we need to bump up uh, the abilities there. So, we only missed one objective, not too bad, not ideal, but uh, we got a chunk of change and a decent amount of fanage. Our game has been saved. Let's go into the crafting menu. Let's see, materials. We have enough to create one more metal block, so that means we can create alien cardboard, which means we can go into the mecha screen. We can go over here, and we can get that extra health and that extra repair mecha. So now this is at, this is the top. The, the alien um, is the top. Level five is the top of what you can get with that. So this is as best as we can do for that. And I'm really happy that we got a lot more health to play with because we were getting kind of down into the teens, like the teens, as far as like the thousands, the teen thousands, you know, eighteen thousands, and, and and under. You know what I mean. Um, and that was making me very worried, especially when I know that an episode is coming up, or I believe we have three mecha battles in one episode. Um, that should be coming up very, very soon, especially now since I was able to add that in. I might toy with the materials a little bit more off camera and try and see if I can beef the mecha up for that episode. But thank you so very, very much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a big old stamp of approval. Really helps me out. And uh, subscribe and share if you feel so inclined. And as always, I will see you right here on this channel for the next one. Peace! One good thing, one thing to go back.